welcome back everybody so today we're going to have a side by side of my warrior centennial uh, beers home brews but they are using different malts so the one on my left is using two row and the one on my right is using mare solder <coughs> uh, for for the um uh, grain bill, it's two pounds, eight ounces of either two row or mare solder. Then for the uh, hop schedule, this is a small gallon batch, 1.25 gallons going into the carboy. 0.15 ounces of Warrior at 60 minutes, 0.25 ounces of Centennial at 10, 0.25 ounces of Centennial at 5, then three days into fermentation, 0.25 ounces of Centennial. Uh, US 05 yeast was used. So I'm just going to get the bottles off to the side like I normally do. Hopefully you guys can still see them and we'll take a look at them. So the two row version came in at 7.33%. The Marisada version was 8.6%. Now what's that tell me? It could mean Marisada has more uh, sugars in it. So the yeast had more to eat, which gave off more um, uh, alcohol. Um, my guess, for, I've done a, a separate tasting, that's why both of them are open. Uh, the the uh, Warrior with Centennial uh, on my left was the first one I did today, and I just finished up the standard or the regular review for the, the uh, Mare Sauter, uh version. So the two row version is going to be warmer. Um, but I guess this is what you get uh, in two row verse Marisada for a color. So depending on which one you like might be the way that you want to go. Now I do know you can or and I've seen and I've tasted IPAs made with Marisada malt. Smash beers are made with Marisada malt. It's just going to depend on what you like, and that's why you should try more than one variety. Um, if anything, I would say the two-row version has a little bit more of a head, but in looking at them, uh, again, the two-row version is older, but the Marisada version does have more bubbles still coming up. For the color... Yeah, you're looking at almost uh, bright yellow, and then for the Marisada, it's it almost looks like a burnt orange. It, it's almost like it's mixed up, because uh, I do believe in the review it was darker down the center, um, but now it's almost like a pumpkin color. I don't know how what you guys are going to be able to see. Now, to me, in looking at these, I would say the color appeal goes to the Marisada because uh, the two-row looks too plain to me. Uh, but that's your choice. Now, obviously, in most IPAs, you're going to use more than one malt. If you used a Crystal 20, Crystal 40, you're going to change that color to get kind of towards the Marisada one. Is it going to go all the way? It, uh, probably not because you'd have to use so much uh, Crystal 20, Crystal 40 to get it there, then it's not going to taste good. But let's go, let's see if we can pick any differences out in the malts, uh, in the smell. Uh, are we getting more sweetness from the Marisada? Are we getting more toasted from the two row? What do we get? From the smell, I would say uh, the Marisada is more malty, uh, a very light syrup smell. And the two row is really letting those hops come through. Uh, I smell that lemon citrus, all, like pretty much all. Maybe a touch of toasted bread in there. Uh, but the Marisada, the smell is stronger, I think, from that grain, and that's what you're getting. So if you wanted to overpower the smell, you might have to use more late or dry hopping to bring that smell out. 
because I don't think uh, the 0.25 ounces really did. I do get a, a, a sweeter citrus, but it's nothing like the two row. The two row is going to be lighter, so I do believe it's going to let more uh, of that hop smell out versus almost like a very light syrup from the Marisotter. Let's go ahead and taste. So the two row version has a lot more lemon citrus in it. Uh, when I when I drink the two row, then the Marisotter, you get that Marisotter sweetness, but you do get some uh, uh, citrus. I, I think because I drink them back to back, I, I, I think that two row is helping leave some of that citrus in there and it's not being covered up all the way by the Marisotter. The Marisotter tastes smoother. Um, the two row version tastes a little rough around the edges, but I think that's be because the Marisotter has more sweetness in it that almost like it could have attenuated more if I left it in there or added more yeast. Uh, like it could have been drove up to about 10%. I don't remember that much sweetness being in some of the smash beers uh, that we made. And I blew the ABV out of the water from what it wanted to be. But I would go back and watch that review of that Marisotter uh, to get all those details. Yeah, uh, the, the two row version is warmer, but I think on this comparison, I would have to go with the Marisotter. Uh, it seems to fit that 8.5% a little bit more. You get some more of that malt sweetness in a double IPA. I think the only thing you're really lacking is the malt. Um, usually a double IPA is going to be a little maltier uh, than what you're picking up from here. I, th I think the sugar level or the sweetness is fine. It does need some more hops uh, in there to help balance that 8.5% out. You're not getting any alcohol, but I think that it's that Marisotter sweetness covering up most of that. Uh, the the two-row version is bitter. Um, I don't get that in the Marisotter. I, I believe that sugar in the Marisotter is covering up that bitterness, so the perceived bitterness is lower um, than what it should be. But for the most part, at least these sitting right here, I would not brew any of these because I would want to add more to it. But I would have to go with the Marisotter version. It feels more balanced for a beer, not from what I like. If I wanted it, I would probably add maybe a touch of wheat in there uh, to maybe bring out the body, maybe try and cut that sugar a little bit. I think doing that uh, or adding the two row, it, it wouldn't be over, it wouldn't be able to overpower the Marisotter sugar sweetness that it has. So I think it, like a white wheat might be able to do it or a rye, which I might be doing soon. Um, and then some more hops on the back end, late edition or dry hop, uh, just to try and cut through that sweetness. It is a thicker beer. So yeah, maybe a little bit more uh, dry hops to bring that out. So yeah, I would say Maris Otter, you might be different. If you've done anything like this, leave it in the comment below and let me know. So if you enjoyed this video, check some more homebrew videos out over here. And until next time, happy brewing.